Hey everyone. So I haven't really mentioned this on on my um, on my vlog channel, um, but I'm gonna but I'm going to um, talk about this because I feel like um, it hasn't really been talked much about because there's an incident that that was in on a Mata bus was um, overlooked. So so what happened on uh, May second? Yeah, May second of 2022. Um, I was on the bus minding my own business i have my i have my earbuds well i have some older ones but like i was listening to my music and you know it was all you know every the bus was crowded don't get me wrong so so don't um like don't like don't mind that anyway i was you know it was going to silver spring which you know which i wasn't going in that direction anyways um and then um this elderly lady was was gonna get a seat however however there was plenty of seats in the area and then this old motherfucker the audacity to try and make it look like that i was in the wrong but i was i was playing my music too, because i was minding my own business and everyone who knows me who knows me i am chill until you until you come at me in a negative way so so anyways he was being a Kevin, I called him out, I'm being, being one, I called him a male Karen, but he called me an illegal immigrant. And that's when everyone's like, whoa. So I gave him, so you know, that day, I really wish everybody could have seen what really went down. The fight didn't last long. Um, the, the way that I told him several times to get out of my space, he told me, I'm in your space, but I told him, I told him, get out of my space, get out of my space. And then as soon as, as soon as he pushed me, I, I went, on, on his fucking face I like literally he literally had a like he had he had some ray bands on ray band glasses on I'm not sure if they're sunglasses or whatever but I but as soon as that happened his ray bands is just like like you can you can hear if you can hear that that, that brutal punch you, that indicates that I have strong punches so you should have you all should have seen how how brutal it was like like um, I think it got him in the eye he had a black eye he um I gave him a couple of punches and I dragged him out. Like I literally, so like I literally, I literally like grabbed, I literally grabbed him by the shirt. Like the first punch, like like made his head hit the the end of the bus wall, and I grabbed his, I grabbed his, grabbed him by the shirt. I did another punch. And I dragged him out with me off the bus. And that didn't, it did not take long compared to compared to what happened with a teenager to this other lady who told teenagers to stop swearing. So what they did was a little too far. But but they didn't do but the point is they didn't do as much damage as I did with this older guy. And this guy this guy was and mind you, he was bigger and stockier than I was. You should have, you all should have seen how, how much damage I inflicted to him, despite being smaller than him. It was, it was a, I think it was one of those overlooked fights that happened, because nobody, nobody had filmed it, but it was on surveillance, but I think that, I think Lamato, um, I think they deleted the, I think they removed the, the surveillance, but, uh, you know, that day, you know, I wish you all could have seen what really went down, you know, the fight didn't even last long, like, like that, what the teenagers did to that to, to that old to that other lady. Like it took them like a minute or two to get her out, and 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 it took it didn't even take me ten seconds to drag that drag that motherfucker out. Like it was just like, whoa! Like like the way I punched it was like it was like uh oh like they knew, you know, the second I punched, they knew it was brutal. Like he he had a he had a blood he had a blood cut on like there was like a little blood cut on the eyes because of the frame, but there was like a little bit of a there was a little bit of a cut on my hand because of course you know the punch the punch hit his hit his um hit his eye. It and and everyone who knows me I'm chill until until I'm in I'm in fight mode because when I'm in fight mode. You, there is a high chance that you'll get that you'll get some form of wound from it. 
So I always tell people, don't fuck with me. Even even if something that I did was even if something was is not a big deal. Like even if it's something like mm, you shouldn't have done that, but like but like it doesn't matter if I'm the right or in the wrong or whatever. Don't put your hands on me. I always tell people this. Don't put your hands on me. You know, you know. I, that's all I ask. You can you can insult me. You can say all you want to say, but once you push put your hands on me, that's when you know what you you know what you're done, and I will and I will whoop your ass. You know, honestly, like <laughs> I I did a good job whooping his ass, and I stood I stood I you know I stand I stand up to someone who's just so racist and and. And all this stuff so I'm just glad that I did what I did so I just wanted to let everyone know the story because I haven't really discussed it much because everyone kind of knew um, of what happened but but it wasn't on the news so um, I wanted to let everyone know what happened so um, so we had the Metro um, police come to our place because when we were doing the report and the good news is he was wanted for second degree assault because you know he put his hands on me first but but that but that punch Y'all, y'all, y'all would have felt so relieved the fact that I stood up, I stood up towards racism. Like that's never okay, even if someone's in the wrong. Like, like even if these black people, like you know, some black people sometimes will shoplift and all that stuff. Like I would, I can never, I can never make a, a comment towards them, even if they're in the wrong. Like, like you could be, like you could be a serial rapist, and I could never make a racist comment towards them. Like. Like, I don't go around saying all that stuff, stuff. I mean, yes, some of them are monsters for, for raping people and all this stuff. But, I mean, anybody can, anybody can, can, can do all these, all these terrible things. So, I just want to let you all know that, you know, you know, you know, it went down, it was done. And I won it. I, you know, I, of course, won the fight, you know. But, I just want everyone to know that, you know, I'm okay after it. There was, like, some scrubs here and there, but it wasn't the point, like, where I need to, you know, I needed some medical attention. But, but I still won the fight nonetheless, so. Um, that's, um, what I wanted to talk about in this video, um, the story of what happened, um, that day. And I really hope that this video does give some relief on what, what happened that day. And, um, and I'm hoping, and hopefully... It also teaches you that you know you have to stand for you have to stand for what's right, and you shouldn't you shouldn't let anybody put their hands on you. So, so even if it's in a small bus like that, don't be don't be afraid to 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 defend yourself because when someone puts your hands on you, you don't hesitate don't hesitate to fight back because. Because, because that's that's assault, and and if you retaliate, that's self-defense. So, so just let everyone know that. But I know that I know that in throughout those states, it's I think laws vary um, by states. But but here in Maryland, it's legal to defend yourself. So, but and also, in addition to that, I also have this little guy, pepper spray. So, so that's also another thing that I'm gonna be that I'm gonna be carrying from now on. Don't let any, but yeah, don't let anybody hurt you just because you know because you know it was confrontational. You know, don't don't be don't be afraid to fight back. Sometimes even if they even if these people are confrontational, sometimes they're all talking. Even if they did bite, it's not that bad. So, but yeah, um, just want everyone to know that things are okay and you know all that stuff. So, anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you in another video.